I am Dr. Kodladi Surendra Shetty. I am a spine surgeon consulting at uh, my own hospital, Spine Care and Ortho Care Hospital, Magdi Road, Rajajinagar. The success rate of spinal surgery is at par with other major surgeries, like whether you take uh, abdominal surgery or uh, um, any other orthopedic surgery, any other surgery, the success rate is almost same. I can say 90 to 95% success rate is there in spine surgery. But the problem is, so we have to analyze the patients prior to the surgery to decide which type of surgery. All spinal surgeries are not same. So which type of spinal surgery is required? Whether a patient needs an open laminectomy, or he needs a micro discectomy, micro lumbar surgery, or whether he needs a stabilization surgery. So, this can be done with proper screening of the patients much before the surgery by taking proper MRIs, proper X rays, especially in standing posture, the bending X rays, what we call as a stress X rays bending forward, bending backward, all these x-rays, that will decide upon the stability of the spine component before the surgery. For example, if a spine is stable, then we can go for minimal invasive surgeries like microdiscectomy or endoscopic discectomy, all those things. Suppose a spine is unstable. For example, when the patient bends forward, the vertebra is moving one over other. So, or when it moves backward, it is moving or it has moved sideways. In such cases, we say that it is an unstable spine. For an unstable spine, if we do simple discectomy procedures, the problem will worsen. The patient will have more pain. So for such people, we have to go for a stabilization surgery, a fusion surgery. So properly, if you analyze before and do the surgery afterwards, then the success rate is very high in comparable to any other surgery. So 90 to 95% success rate is definite for spine surgery. To visualize more videos of mine, subscribe to Dr. Circle 